Hello everyone, welcome back to Kiran's English Hub. So we are continuing with the summaries of 7th class English and so far we are completed up to unit 7 reading B. So we are almost at the end of the syllabus of 7th class. So those who want to watch the previous videos till unit 7 reading B can go through my playlist. So that playlist title is uh, class 7th English lessons. So there you will find all the lessons explanations in the playlist. So in this video, I will be teaching you uh, reading C, which is the title uh, title as Koneru Hampi. Okay, so this is a biography of a girl whose name is Koneru Hampi, who was a chess player. Okay, so let us quickly get into the text here. So we'll be re we'll be reading about uh, her childhood. Uh, how she has acquired that much talent and what were her achievements and all and how she made our country so proud. Okay, so reading C here, you have read an essay on chess. You have also read about some good chess players in India. Okay, so previously uh, we had discussed about the names of the chess players, right? Next, here is an interesting passage about one of the greatest one of the greatest women chess players in the world. So read the, uh, read and answer the questions that are following. Okay, so here we are going to read about one of the greatest women chess players in the world, not just in our country. Okay, so you have to keep that, uh, you know, that, that word, the world in your mind. Okay, so here we will be reading about her, Konir Hampi. So on the right side, you can see uh, her picture here okay so she is from Andhra Pradesh okay so we'll be reading about her uh, here in the further minutes okay Kone Rampi is an Indian chess player and the best woman at the chessboard and the nation uh, that na the nation has ever produced among the female chess players of India she is considered to be on par with Vishwanathan Anand she holds the world number two rank Okay, uh, Ju Judith Polgar, she is number one and after that she is number two. Koner Hampi is number two among the female chess players. So, as we can see in this picture that Koner Hampi is an Indian chess player. Okay, so we cannot call her a district level or straight level or national level. But she is international level player. Okay, Indian chess player and she is the best player at the board. Okay, so, you know, she just compared to Vishwanathan Anand okay so where Vishwanathan Anand is uh, you know another greatest player in the men category Konera Hampi is considered to be you know on uh, you know equal to Vishwanathan Anand in the case of women category okay and Konera Hampi she also holds world number two rank world number two rank so as you can see here Judith Polgar she holds world number one rank after that Konera Hampi holds the second rank among the chess players in the world okay so you can just imagine so around the world there are like thousands and thousands of chess players so among them Koner Hampi holds number two rank worldwide okay early life and introduction to the game of chess so she was born on 31st of March 1987 at Gudiwada Krishna district Andhra Pradesh so the people those who do not know this exact place Gudiwada and if you do not even know Krishna district also no problem which is in Andhra Pradesh state okay so now we are in Telangana right so after the bifurcation you know that is named as the world like Andhra Pradesh only so in Krishna district at Gudiwada place um, this uh, Koneru Hampi was born okay so her father Koneru Ashok worked as a lecturer in chemistry he was a wonderful chess player who won the South Indian Open Championship in 1985. So we can just now understand how she got that much of interest over chess or how she got that much skills over chess. So after reading this sentence here, we can understand that Koneru Ashok, who is the father of Koneru Hampi, he was a lecturer in chemistry and also he was a chess player. Okay, her father was also a chess player. So, he also won a South Indian Open Championship in the year 1985. Okay. So, you can see, um, you know, before 
कोनेर हम्पी कुड बी बोर्न दिस वन कोनेर अशोक वन द ओपन चैंपियनशिप इन द ईयर 1985 लेटर 1987 कोनेर हम्पी वाज बोर्न सो एंग हम्पी गोट अट्रैक्टेड टुवर्ड्स द गेम एट अ वेरी एंग एज ऑफ जस्ट फाइव इयर्स हर फादर सून स्पॉटेड हर एक्सट्रॉर्डिनरी स्किल्स इन द गेम एंड रियलाइज्ड शी कुड बिकम अ ग्रेट प्लेयर इफ कंडीशन प्रॉपरली सो अशोक टुक द बोल डिसीशन ऑफ गिविंग अप इज जॉब टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट फुली अपॉन हम पीस चेस करियर सो ये वॉट हैपन इज एट अ वेरी एंगेज जस्ट एट द एज ऑफ फाइव इयर्स ओनली कोनर हम पी स्टार्टेड टू यू नो गेन दिस स्किल्स ऑफ चेस सो यू नो हर फादर ऑल्सो अंडरस्टूड हाउ टैलेंटेड शी इज एट द वेरी एंगेज एंड यू नो ही नोज दैट इफ शी इज टेकन केयर वेरी वेल इन द गेम ऑफ चेस देन शी कुड यू नो मेक वंडर्स सो दैट्स वाई यू नो हर फादर वॉट इड इट वॉज ही वॉज यू नो लेक्चर इन केमिस्ट्री राइट सो यू नो ही लेफ्ट हीज जॉब लाइक ही गेव अप हीज जॉब एंड ही कंप्लीटली कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड ऑन कोनेर हम पी टू मेक अर द बेस्ट चेस प्लेयर इन द वर्ल्ड सो द इम्प्रेसिव बिगिनिंग अपॉन द चेस बोर्ड द लिटिल हम पी शोड अ रिमार्केबल पावर्स एज एन एक्सलेंट चेस प्लेयर एज सुन एज शी बिगेन प्लेइंग इन द गेम she caught everybody's attention for the first time when she won the under 8 national chess championship in the year 1995 so soon after starting her career in the field of chess koner uh, hampi started to gain uh, remarkable achievements in the field of chess so you know for the first time uh, you know when she played under 8 under 8 in the sense bef- uh, you know below the age of 8 those who are there to play they are called as under 8 chess players okay so uh, you know before she could gain the uh, age of 8 itself she played this national championship and in that she won uh, you know the gold medal like she won the world championship okay so that was our first uh, you know impressive beginning next remarkable performance at the international level so as you can see above Uh, she started to gain the international attention that means she has become a national player before she could reach the age of 10 so immediately she could have you know achieved many more titles after that and uh, you know she also started to play international level uh, chess games so let us see her some of the remarkable performances so soon after providing her excellence at the proving ec- her excellence at the national level koneru entered koner hampi entered the international chess circuit so when she has shown her talent at the national level she entered international uh, level of uh, you know chess game after taking the world by storm and clinching the world chess titles in the under 10 under 12 under 14 age groups hampi got an international master title in the year 1919 at the age of 12 years so see here immediately so after entering into the uh, you know world chess uh, like international chess uh, games immediately she started to grab all the titles world chess titles which are under 10 under 12 under 14 age groups immediately she uh, started to you know gain all these uh, you know chess games she won all these chess games and before she could get the age of 12 years okay almost like at the age of 12 years she got the international master international chess master title so this is given when someone performs very well at the international chess uh, chess games okay so before she at the age of 12 years itself she got this title okay so we can understand how well she had played uh, in all those games further further as she achieved her third grandmaster norm in the eclis memorial grandmaster tournament held at budapest hungary koner created a world record by earning the international grandmaster title at the age of 15 years 1 month and 29 days so after uh, you know uh, the third grandmaster norm she played another grandmaster tournament uh, in hungary okay hungary is a country there so there koner this koneru hampi she uh, you know uh, uh, made a world record created a world record 
by earning international grandmaster title so after international master title uh, you know international grandmaster title is given so at the age of 12 she earned already international master title and the age of, age of 15 years 1 month and 29 days Konari Hampi got international grandmaster title so just imagine uh, you know how hard she is working on that how far she is you know going on achieving these titles okay so just at the age of 15 only she earned international grandmaster titles so that is like one of the you know best achievements in the world she broke Judith Polgar's record to achieve the feat and become the youngest woman to ever have earned the covered title so before she could gain this international grandmaster title uh, there was another younger girl that was Judith Polgar. So, until then, Judith Polgar had the record of a, the youngest grandmaster international, you know, title. But, uh, you know, after Konare Hampi got this game, won this game, she became the youngest. Konare Hampi became the youngest uh, chess player to gain the international grandmaster title. Later. Later, how Ifen broke Humpy's record by earning the title at the age of 14 years, 6 months in the year 2008. So, as you can see here, Judith Polgar, you know, so far was the youngest one until uh, Konere Humpy broke her record. And after Konere Humpy broke her record, uh, you know, at the age of 15 years, um, you know, later in the year 2008, 2008 another chess player which, uh, who is How Ifen, she broke the record of Konere Hampi, which was on 15 years, uh, by you know having the years of 14 years of six months in the year 2008. So now the record is on the name of how Yefen, who is the youngest, another youngest international grandmaster title holder. So Konere Hampi has been the first Indian woman to have received an international grandmaster title in the game of chess. So you know across the world there might be some other chess players who have earned this international grandmaster title so far but konare hampi was the first indian woman okay she was the first indian woman first indian girl to receive this international grandmaster title in the game of chess so so far no other indian woman got this international grandmaster title next year performance at the world chess champion here you can see uh, she is holding some of the medals okay championship medals yeah performance at the chess championship in the year 2001 she won the world junior chess championship okay so in the year 2001 world junior chess championship this is not school level district level state level this is world level okay so international junior chess championship she won in 2001 she lost in the second round of the Women's World Chess Championship 2006. So later in the 2006, uh, there were, uh, you know, Women's World Chess Championship. So in that, she lost in the second round. Her performance in 2008 was much better. She reached the semi-final round where she lost to Hao Yifen of China. So uh, Hao Yifen, which we came across in the previous passage, she belongs to China. Okay. So, in the 2008 also, uh, there were another um, international games. Uh, so, in that, uh, Humpy played till semi-finals and she lost to this Chinese, another Chinese player. So, Humpy participated in the FID Women's Grand Prix 2009-2011 and finished in overall second position. In turn, qualifying as challenger for Women's World Chess Championship in 2011. So, in 2009-2011 Grand Prix, okay, FID Women's Grand Prix was there. So, in that she earned the overall second position. So, in the overall games, she earned the second position and later she qualified. Because of that game, she qualified for the Women's World Chess Championship in the year 2011. Next one here, Pride of the Nation. So, at... Doha Asian Games in 2006, Koner Hampi made the national nation proud by bagging two gold medals in the individual as well as team event of chess. So, in 2006, 
there were this asian games at doha so in that she earned both individual gold medal and also uh, you know group like team event okay together she won two gold medals there she also won the international open chess tournament 2007 held at uh, copting luxembourg okay so she also won international open chess tournament in 2007 okay next in october 2007 humpy scored an fid ranking of 2606 points just behind the world number 1 female chess player judith polga so usually so when uh, the chess players win their games okay so all the games are usually ranked okay so if you win a game usually you will be given some ranks okay so that ranking will be continuously going on points points will be added to your number your name okay so just uh, by adding all those points to her name humpy scored uh, you know the second rank okay so she was just behind the first one the first rank was uh, given to judith polga okay so humpy held 2606 points at that time so humpy has broken the world record set by susan polga who had a rating of 2577 points while she was at the world number 2 spot okay so this was the um, world number 2 spot which was by susan polga 2577 so uh, you know koner humpy she got 2606 points okay and this girl susan polga she you know went to the third place okay so humpy had also been the second woman ever in the history of chess who had crossed the 2600 points mark okay so humpy also had been the second woman okay so second woman in sense before her there is another woman who is that judith polga okay she is the world number 1 after that humpy is world number 2 so humpy is the second woman ever in the history of chess game in the world who crossed 2600 points marks so judith polga had done it for the first time netra awards and honors for showing extraordinary talent as a chess player and making the nation proud several times at national international level koner humpy has been honored with a number of awards and recognitions so as we can see in the above passages koner humpy made our country uh, so proud at so many levels of international games so many not one not two not three okay we can see her records okay so she also crossed 2600 points mark it is not so easy to cross those many uh, points in chess game so since she earned that much you know fame and since she made our country so proud she also uh, you know had been honored with a number of awards uh, in the country so to commend her exceptional exceptional skills and achievements the government of india bestowed upon her that uh, coveted arjuna award in the year 2003 so arjuna award is given to the players okay players like it can be indoor or outdoor so whom uh, performs very well for our country okay on behalf of our country so since, since uh, this girl um, koner humpy performed very well at international levels and made our country so proud this arjuna award is given to her in the year 2003 further in the year 2007 she was awarded with the prestigious padma shri award so we can see her greatness here just with this award padma shri award is given to the only exceptional people in india who make our country so proud or who serve our country uh, you know in, in many different ways so this padma shri award is given to um, koner humpy in the year 2007 koner humpy was also conferred upon the rajya lakshmi award in the year 2008 by rajalakshmi foundation foundation of chennai so this rajalakshmi award is given by rajalakshmi foundation which is in chennai so she was awarded this uh, rajalakshmi award in the year 2008 and along with this she had got many uh, you know other uh, uh, you know titles many other uh, honors and awards okay along with these prestigious awards so they are not mentioned here you can just uh, go through them in some of the books okay 
so i have got some questions here no glossary so far these questions will be uh, so many of the students are asking me for this question so first thing is you will not get these questions in the examination okay no questions of the following questions see in this case will not be asked in the examination read all the answers for your exam from the um common notes okay so whatever the common notes the printed common notes which is given to you read for your exam from that only so nothing is given from these questions okay so this is just for your understanding okay so those who want to just cross check your knowledge after reading the lesson you can just go through these questions and self answer okay fine so this is it for this video and uh, uh, we are complete this video we are completing unit 7 okay so in the next unit i will be teaching you reading a which is snakes in india so that is going to be another interesting lesson so we'll see that uh, the whole theme of that unit is going to be about nature okay so that is going to be another interesting one right so that's it for this video so before leaving the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so you'll, you'll get all the notifications of all the other lessons when i upload the videos and those who want to watch the previous units lessons just go through my playlist i have already uploaded them there okay so that's it for this video so see you in the next video until then take care god bless you